Hello guys and welcome back into a new brand video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Salesforce CLI in Windows operating system. So make sure to watch the video to the end and follow these simple steps. First, you will need to download the Salesforce CLI. So just type Salesforce CLI in your web browser and then you will need just to go to the first link. By clicking on it, you will find this page and then from there you can choose windows since we want to install it in windows you choose your architecture or your windows version and in my case i will just go for download for windows 64. by clicking on it you will need just to download and then you will need just to start the installation process from here you will need just to click on salesforce cli click on yes and now the installation process will start so make sure to set the path to the salesforce and check all these boxes and the most important one is this set path to salesforce cli you click on next and basically you will start the installation process at the end make sure uh, you will need just to go to the command line just type command prompt or command line and from here all you need to do to verify if it has been installed successfully is just to type sf so from here type sf uh, and it should happen or it should uh, show these uh, commands otherwise if it gives you something like sf is not recognized as internal or external command means that it has not been set up into your uh, environment uh, variables so from here you will need just to go to environment variables by searching for them here in uh, environment variables in your windows and basically we can see the environment variables here you go and search for path make sure it is on the system variables or uh, at least it should be on the user that you are using so here in the path you will need just to add path for your uh, CLI in my case it is in uh, let's just go to the explorer in my case it would be in C program files from here you will need just to search for SF and go to the bin copy the path after that go back to the CLI uh, the environment variables click on new paste and then click on ok I already have done this uh, process and after that you will need just to have the sfdx and the sf that is working in your uh, command prompt so basically this is how you can do it thank you for watching and see you next time